Get in. Well, he is shipping the world's greatest food. So if you want Ina Garden's famous coconut cake, stone crabs from Miami's most iconic restaurant, or Chicago's deep dish pizza, go with Gold Belly. Free shipping nationwide. Choosing the right candidate for it. Or its shape or size. Whether the office is small or big, round, square, or even oval. If you're hiring, let ZipRecruiter do the work of finding quality candidates fast. If only every decision could be this easy. Your neighbor just paid an enormous amount for a new roof, but he didn't have to, and neither do you. Because RoofMax can add years of life to your current roof. $20,000 or more for a new roof, or as low as $35 a month for RoofMax, you decide. Any roof more than seven years old should be roof max. We'll tear it up and treat it, making your roof like new. And the best part, we'll extend the life of your roof up to 15 years. Call now and we'll give you our $859 roof tune-up for free with your roof max treatment. The vote is in. Fox News Channel was number one on election night. More Americans watched Fox News than any other network. America is watching. <laughs> Special report. President Trump leads Vice President Harris right now nationally Check. by more than four million votes. If that popular vote holds up, it'll be the first time in 20 years a Republican wins the popular vote. And that margin of victory came from gains in the battleground states and beyond. And it really gives the now president elect his team the basis for a pretty convincing argument that he has a big mandate. 
Tonight, we take a closer look at the broad coalition behind Trump's historic White House comeback. And let's start in the state of New York. Vice President Kamala Harris beat Trump by a little more than 11 points. Although he did not win the state, he did close the gap from 2020 when he lost to President Joe Biden by more than 23 points. We'll put up the two side by side here. If we zoom in uh, to Nassau County, for example, Nassau County, you see that Trump actually beat Harris by almost five points in Nassau County. He lost to Biden there by almost 10 points. And if we go over to the Bronx, this little one right here, you can see that that's where Trump held that camp, those campaign events, two of them, the visit with the barbershop with Fox. He outperformed his 2020 results there by 11 points. Okay, so let's go to another state where we see some action on this front going back to the comparison to 2020 and that is pennsylvania the biggest battleground of them all part of the democrats blue wall uh, the trump team flipped the state from 2020 as you see here if you look at philadelphia county uh down here by philadelphia uh harris underperformed where biden was in 2020 the turnout the campaign was hoping for really never materialized in those suburban counties now if we look at bucks county just to the north here uh you can see that that's where i interviewed uh vice president harris last month after her appearance with republican liz cheney trump appears to have flipped bucks county red that's the first time that will have happened since 1988. okay let's go south now to Florida that also tells a different story when it comes to the popular vote and different votes in here. President-elect Trump outperforming his 2020 results by almost 5%. Uh, Harris saw 5% less support than President Biden. The margin of victory and the early call really was an indication that Trump was going to have a good night. Latino voters really played a role as a widening edge in Florida. If we look at Miami-Dade County, for example, where about 68% of the residents are Hispanic, Biden received more votes here in 2020 than Trump, but Trump outperformed Harris by 11 points. He is the first Republican presidential candidate to win Miami-Dade County since 1988, another historic win. Okay, let's go out to <laughs> Texas, uh, the biggest prize electorally uh, for the Republicans, and there you see Trump is the first Republican presidential nominee down to this border county right down here, Storm County. Uh, he is the first Republican to win since 1896. Take that. I mean, that's a lot of years. In addition to the wide coalition of voter support, President-elect Trump will return to Washington with a Republican majority in the Senate, which is also a big deal. Senior Congressional Chairman Chad Perkman is on Capitol Hill tonight with a preview of his new balance of power. Great chat. Good evening. Republicans say there were major coattails for President-elect Trump. That's why Republican Bernie Moreno handily defeated Ohio Democrat Sherrod Brown. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell says the power of Trump helped the GOP. I, I, I think it was a referendum on the current administration, in part. P people were just not happy with this administration, and the Democratic nominee obviously was a part of it. It was a hell of a good day. But there were limits to the Trump juggernaut. While Trump carried Wisconsin and Michigan, Democrats won Senate races in both states. The House is on a razor's edge. Right now, there are 200 GOP members and 181 Democrats. 54 seats are outstanding. One race is in northern Maine. Democrat Jared Golden is trying to fend off GOP challenger Austin Terrio. Any viable path to a win from my opponent has closed. So I'm here to declare victory. I certainly prefer to be in the majority, but we don't know the outcome. But GOP leaders say President-elect Trump could help them hold the House. If you look at President Trump's performance in carrying Senate candidates over the line, there is no modern day candidate of either party who turns out voters more effectively than President Trump. Okay. Now the performance of Vice President Harris likely cost Democrats the seats of Susan Wild and Matt Cartwright in Pennsylvania. House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries says the House, quote, is very much in play. He touts potential seats to flip in Oregon and California. It may be days before the House is called. Brett? Chad Parker, live on Capitol Hill. Chad, thank you. 
Up next, our panel of pollsters and consultants breaks down what really happened on election day. You believe you were sent by God? Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's my brother. She's with you now. And don't worry, it's all right. Brooklyn, come and be baptized in the River Jordan. Yes, it's a favor. And I'm here to help you shake your stuff. Power goes closer. Check. Still have symptoms from moderate to severe ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease after a TNF blocker like Humira or Remicade? Put them in check with Revoke. Revoke works differently and it's one daily pill. When symptoms tried to take control, I got rapid relief with Revoke. Check. When flares tried to slow me down, I got lasting steroid free remission with Revoke. Check. And when my doctor saw damage, Rinvoke helps visibly reduce damage to the intestinal lining. Check. Rapid symptom relief, lasting steroid free remission. And visibly reduced damage. Check, check, and check. Rinvoke can lower your ability to fight infections, including TP, serious infections, and blood clots, some fatal. Cancers, including lymphoma and skin, heart attack, stroke, and GI tears occurred. People 50 and older with a heart disease risk factor have an increased risk of death. Serious allergic reactions can occur. Tell your doctor if you are or may become pregnant. Put UCN Crohn's in check and keep them there with Rinfoke. Ask your gastroenterologist about Rinfoke and learn how Abby can help you save. We have Oscar and Olive. He's part terrier, she's part tabby, and they're both part nurse in crime. Meet the new Bissell Crosswave. Part do it all cleaner, part crime stopper. Bissell, a new breed of clean. My team and I are always moving around our country to connect with so many people. And again, as I've gotten older, well, the aches and pains have crept into all parts of my life. But I'm not ready to slow down. That's why I take Relief Factor. I feel the difference it makes in my life. Not only do I move better without pain, I just feel better. If pain is affecting your life, see how Relief Factor can help. 100% drug-free, Relief Factor doesn't mask pain. It helps eliminate it. Get your three-week quick start today for only $19.95. Hi, Grandma. I played baseball today. Oh, that's great. What position did you play? First base. That's where yeah. Grandpa used to play. <laughs> when our hearing wouldn't allow us to use a regular phone, it made us feel isolated. It became difficult to communicate with our friends and family. Clear Captions was an easy solution for us. Clear Captions provides captions on a phone, like captioning on your TV, so you can see what the caller is saying live as they say it. Making it easy to understand and respond immediately. There is no insurance or Medicare required. Clear Captions service is provided at no cost to you through a federally funded program. We deliver, install, and train you on how to use your phone, all at no cost to you. Give your loved ones the independence and connection they deserve. Call now to see if you qualify to get a clear captions phone at no cost to you. Call 1 800 979 0270. That's 1 800 979 0270. There's only 47. Aneurysm. Did he have life insurance? Do you? Oh, you gotta get on it. Check out Select Quote. Trust me, the peace of mind is worth it. Life insurance is too important to put off another day. That's why Select Quote makes getting coverage you need easy for less than an hour a day. Now get up to a $2 million policy with no minimum down and savings. Visit or call Select Quote and shop you save. Have you ever thought of getting a walk in tub for you or someone you love? Now is a great time to take a look at getting a Safe Step walk in tub. With Safe Step standard heated seats and new fast fill faucet. You can enjoy a nice warm bath up to 20% faster. Safe Step walk in tubs are built to maximize safety so you can stay in your home and enjoy the comforts of bathing again. Call now to receive a free shower package plus $1,600 off. Heather likes things smooth. 
So she came to Row to start losing weight with GLP ones. Now she's on her way to losing 20% of her weight in a year with a diet and exercise. Now that's smooth. We got you better. Connect with the provider at row.co slash TV. America has Check. given us an unprecedented and powerful mandate. Uh, winning the popular vote was very nice. North Carolina, I love these places. Georgia, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. We have a great feeling of love in this very large room. Now, President-elect Trump uh, reacting, and the headlines are reacting to all of this. Wall Street Journal stocks soar, dollar jumps as Trump's comeback reverberates through markets. Trump's win is his greatest resurrection in a career of comebacks. Opinion, Trump is president again, and Democrats can blame Biden's ego. All kinds of thoughts about why. But let's get some analysis on the whole thing from our guest, Democratic pollster Carly Cooperman, CEO of Schoen Cooperman Research, and political consultant and co-founder and chairman of Purple Strategies, Alice Castellanos. Okay, Carly, uh, as we tick through these states, this is the real clear politics average and then the actual vote. It looks like pretty much across the board, Trump was undercounted again by two or three points. That's right. Trump was undercounted again, but I would actually argue that the polls were a lot closer this than time than we've seen in previous cycles. The averages in all of those battleground right. states were virtually tied, these candidates going into the election. And it looks like Trump is going to win them by about one to two points, at least in the five states that have already been called. And, and this is well within the margin of error. So I would actually argue that for the first time in three cycles, the polls in these states were actually pretty close to where things Right. Went. And we had the caveat that if one candidate yes. got one or two points, that they could tip the whole thing, which is exactly what happened. That's exactly right. I've been asked today, you know, did you see a big red wave coming? And I'm like, this is what can happen when you have several states, all of these states that can go by one or two points. But if they're going to go that way with one single candidate, then the impact is just a, a really tremendous, a much bigger win than. Yeah. Cool. Alex, I'll give you credit. Uh, you on this set said uh, a, a wavelet was coming. I didn't think you went full wave, but you went wavelet. And uh, you saw it because of the issues and what you were seeing and hearing from your folks. Yeah, I think so. I wasn't courageous enough to say wave. Uh, <laughs> if I had, a, I should have gone to Las Vegas and put some money on it. But no, when you look at the numbers, Trump really did something remarkable. It wasn't just he won an election. He's initiated a realignment, working class realignment of working class whites, Hispanics, and black Americans. That's a very different Republican Party that we've seen. We've seen that. of living, they care about the economy, inflation is problematic, and it really comes down to how expensive their day-to-day -day life is. Check. I also think one of the things that came out as one of the exit polls is that what voters said they wanted in a presidential candidate, or a president, was a strong leader and someone that was going to bring about change. And Trump won among voters who said those things by 66%, 75% of the voters supported him on those marks. And so clearly Kamala Harris was not able to embrace and, and convince voters that she was the agent of change. They are unhappy with how things are right now and believe Trump's message that things were better when he was president. Alex, his numbers went up with suburban women versus Harris instead of Biden, up with uh, blacks, Hispanics, to your point, uh, and, and different uh, wages. And it sounded, in the exit polls, which ran the uh, Mark Austin voter analysis, that they were saying, listen, 
Cole's story is that blaming the voters is exactly the wrong analysis of this thing. And what shocked me today is that Kamala Harris, in her alleged right. concession speech, did the same thing. Uh, she said uh, th this was the most anti-concession concession speech I've ever heard because it was anti-unity. What she did, she got up there and said, listen, we're going to keep fighting for exactly the same things we fought for in this election. The campaign's going to go on. Uh, it was a... Trumpsy, who's the purest, it just shrinks them and makes them negative. And I think that's what's happening to the Democratic Party now. It's a big mistake, but not only that, it's terrible for the country. Yeah, Bernie Sanders put out a scathing uh, letter, a statement. At the meantime, very quickly, Carly, Jeff Bezos, a tweet, big congratulations to our 45th and now 47th president on an extraordinary political yeah. comeback and decisive victory. No nation has bigger opportunities. Wishing Donald Trump all success in leading and uniting the America we all love. This is a businessman, one of the biggest, and the markets loved what they saw last night and today. Right, well, I'm not surprised to see Bezos said that after notoriously the Washington Post withdrew its endorsement. So obviously people are making decisions based on business sense. And Donald Trump made it very clear that he's going to seek revenge around the people that did not um, support him. So I understand why Bezos is doing this. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, Alex, Carly, thanks so much. Thank you. Up next, we look at what happened with the issue of abortion, which was on almost a dozen state ballots. And later, our panel recaps election night and where we go from here. Still congested? Nope. Uh oh. New Mucinex 2 in 1 saline nasal spray. Spray the bike. <laughs> New Mucinex 2-in-1 Saline Nasal Spray. With a gentle mist and innovative power jet, spray goodbye to congestion. It's comeback season. These families anything like mine every day brings in dirt and messes. <laughs> Sit back, relax, and leave the deep cleaning to the pros. Everyone's forgotten who runs this valley. You will ruin this family's name. You destroy me. You destroy yourself. I took all the risk, and I took it for you. The only thing left to do is to kill as much as you can before they kill you. Yellowstone. Watch on Paramount Network this week. This is how AG1 works to upgrade your health routine. By combining many quality ingredients into something easier than this. Those mix and match supplements replaced. That complicated pill routine simplified. One scoop makes high quality nutrition powerfully simple every day. It's time to get foundational nutrition at drinkag1.com. The cell provider that was breached has my social from the credit check. 75% of Americans have had their social security number exposed due to recent data breaches. That's why LifeLock monitors millions of data points for identity theft. CeraVital Advanced has been such a game changer for me. CeraVital Advanced reduces wrinkles and promotes weight loss. My skin looks healthier. I literally shed a few pounds in the first couple of weeks. Learn more at TryCeraVital.com. Hey, Ryan Reynolds here for, I guess, my 100th mid commercial. No, 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 I mean, it's unlimited premium wireless for $15 a month. I mean, honestly, when I started this, I thought I only had to do like four of these. How are there still people paying two or three times that much? So I shouldn't be victim blaming here. Yeah. And it's still $15 a month, so whatever, you're right. Sorry about all that production value. At biz to credit we know nothing should get in the way of your business. When you need to expand, it's time for the right financing. Time for biz credit. When bills are piling up, you might need extra cash to get through the month. When it's time for new equipment, 
time for bids to credit. Our fast and convenient <laughs> online <laughs> process makes it easy to get the funding you need. It's time to take your business to new heights. Go to biz2credit.com slash time or call 800-200-2891. Biz2credit. Funding, what's next? America chooses Arnold Trust. Fold. Yes. <laughs> Oops. All in. Abortion was a big issue in many locations around the country. It was on the ballot uh, in nearly a dozen states. What about Mark Meredith as a roundup tonight? Yes, guess the issue. Good evening, Mark. Right, good evening to you voters. In 10 states chose whether abortion should be limited or protected in their community. The results were mixed. Even though Democrats made abortion one of, if not their biggest issue this entire cycle, in seven states last night, voters approved efforts to either constitutionally protect abortion or reject previously imposed cool. limits on the procedure. Check. Banning abortion and restricting access to essential care is a losing issue. Voters chose freedom. But in three states, Florida, Nebraska, and South Dakota, voters chose to leave abortion. Oh, the pro-life movement fell across the United States last week as the Lord died in the Yes. <laughs> Something of an indictment of the political information complex. 
I mean, we've been sitting around here for the last couple of weeks, and the story that was portrayed was not true. It was a personal and surprise show on its from 2016 to 